For this 8th grade Project Lead the Way STEM class at Mont Leon Junior High School, students are using math and drafting skills to design a home, but not your ordinary home. They were given four shipping containers and they had to create an entire house um, that could have, you know, a, a single family home. They did have to make it a house that had a good layout. A layout design focusing on green architecture. They've learned about green sustainable energy and they've learned about um, insulation and they've learned about, you know, math and flooring. Everything that compiles into this project. Students use a 3D software program to design their sustainable container homes. And they're really just kind of useful for 3D design and 3D modeling. They can create walls and they can put furniture and sinks and all that kind of stuff in there. And it's generally used, we learned, um, to present an idea to a client to the architects themselves so they can actually see it like three-dimensional and made. And for budding engineer Indy Nebaker, it opens up new ways to actually apply his computer and math skills on something fun and creative. I kind of didn't want to come to terms to was math, but I had to use it. And especially in last year we were doing 3D modeling. It turns out we did the same thing in um, math when we did geometry. And I didn't know I was doing it. So like you had to like, we would see a drawing on a piece of paper and it'd be like 3D. And I mean, like we got all these dimensions and stuff and some of them weren't there, so you had to figure them out. Without the assistance of their community partner, Chevron, the program wouldn't be as successful as it is today. Without them, I wouldn't have the class, I wouldn't have the computers, um, the, the ability to stay within Project Lead the Way. Using science, technology, engineering, and math to design sustainable living homes is an experience that these young engineers can use as a launching point for their college and career paths.